Hey, Sag, this is the Sagittarian Goddess. I hope you guys are doing well, no matter where you are in the world. I hope you know just how prosperous you are. So, Sagittarius, we're going to begin with the white cards, and then we're going to clarify their energy using the tarot and the oracle. What does Sagittarius need to know at this time? I hope each and every one of you have a fantastic week ahead. So, let's see what is coming out for you. You have have faith. So, Sagittarius, there's a situation that you need to have more faith in. All right? If you've been negative about a situation, if you have not been feeling like something is going to work out for you, whatever that look, looks like for you personally, Sagittarius, it's time for you to look a little bit deeper into something and, and be grateful for where you are, how far you come. Okay, have faith in what's next. Have faith that something great is a, is going to come up with a situation. Okay, what happens after have faith? Hmm. What happens after have faith for Sag? Whatever you say. Have faith in whatever you say, Sagittarius. Whatever you believe in, whatever you say. Have faith in what you say. Have faith in yourself. Have faith in what you plan to do. Okay, if you have some shit planned, have faith that those plans will turn out fine. Sagittarius, one of your biggest, biggest traits, one of your greatest traits, Sagittarius, is you having this optimism about you. And having this optimism optimism doesn't make you a weak bitch, Sagittarius, okay? It, it doesn't mean that you are delusional, Sagittarius. It just means that you know that good things happen alongside bad things okay you know that great things can can occur okay in your heart in your heart's eye all right Sagittarius so believe in whatever you say no everything isn't going to work out perfectly okay the way that you want them to okay but it feels so much better doesn't it Sagittarius when you believe that the greater is coming Okay, so I feel like there's a situation where something isn't going to be as bad, bad as it seems to you, Sagittarius. You know what I'm saying? You you could be overthinking a situation. You could be in your feelings about a situation. Okay, there could have been a situation where some shit just kept happening back to back to back to back. And it just seems like no matter what you did or how you did it or when you did it, it's like something always came back to bite you in the ass in a certain way, Sagittarius. So I feel like there's going to be a period of rest for you, okay? Something is not going to be as bad as you think it, it is it, it may not even be bad at all like whatsoever so this is the time where you just really need to relax Sagittarius and I feel like you deserve that you deserve to relax but something about whatever you say I feel like somebody's willing to do whatever you say Sagittarius in the midst of this whoo have faith whatever you say like somebody wants to follow you like somebody wants to get to know you like someone is willing to work with you and let you call the shots and something so i feel like you could be a boss okay you could be managing something sagittarius okay what happens after whatever you say for sag you could be managing your emotions too oh wow what happens after whatever you say playing with fire Ooh, damn y'all <laughs> Sagittarius, I feel like you calling the shots. Like you really calling the shots in your life. You calling the shots in, in whatever you're doing. Like things are happening the way that you want them to happen. Okay. Things are happening the way that you believe they will happen. Like, um, I just feel like somebody knows that they plan with fire with you. Like somebody really got you fucked up too, Sagittarius. So like, don't they, don't take this to heart. Okay, if somebody got you fucked up and you know they got you fucked up, don't take this too hard, Sagittarius. Somebody knows that they're playing with fire. I feel like you can see it in their eyes, okay? It's, it's, written, it's written all over their face, their facial expression. Like, someone cannot hide that they know that they're playing with fire when it comes to you. So, I just feel like something isn't worth it. You know what I'm saying? Something isn't worth it, Sagittarius. Something isn't worth you, like, exploding. Something isn't worth your anger. Something isn't worth your time. Wow. But somebody's not fucking with you for real, Sagittarius. Whatever you do, whatever you do in this life, you do it very well. Like somebody <laughs> feels like they're in competition with you. And it's not because you're in competition with them. It's because you're good at it. Like you're just good. You're just that damn good at whatever this is, Sagittarius. What happens after playing with fire? 
Hmm. A fire could be very significant as well. A fire, a bum, a bum fire. What happens after playing with fire? Respect. Ooh. I'm not mad at it. We not mad at it as we say itch. So we got respect. Yeah. It's about damn time. Like, it's about damn time that you get the respect that is owed to you. And it's not as if you're looking for it, but if the opportunity presents itself, Sagittarius, like you're nothing to be played with. And I feel like this is on more than this is on more than one level. Like, um, it's something about your spirit, first of all. You have half faith. So I know, I know it's something about your spirit, Sagittarius. Your spirit is like magnetic. It's very magnetic, Sagittarius. And I feel like with your spirit being magnetic like this, with your spirit being authentic, like, um, like you really, really, really take the time to just keep it real with yourself and keep it real with others too. I just feel like uh, somebody doesn't have a choice but to respect you. Like, more than one person. Like, this is a group of people, okay? Um, They don't have any other choice but to respect you, Sagittarius. I feel like you're moving up in something. It's like you're excelling in something. Okay, what happens after respect? <laughs> somebody knows you're not to want... You're not the one to, to fuck with. Like... Or in any way, like you don't play like, and this, and this doesn't mean that, you know, you want to fight or anything like that. I know it can sound like I'm being aggressive, <laughs> you guys, but the thing about it is it's like, you don't play in anything you do, whatever, whatever goal you want to tackle, you handle that. Okay. Whatever, uh, relationship you want, whatever person you want, you handle it. It's like, you really take care of business. I just see you taking care of business. What happens after respect? physical decision hmm so you could be met with a physical decision that you're going to have to make this could involve something dealing with your body something dealing with where you live your location okay there's a decision that is needing to be made regarding your body regarding someone else's body regarding um uh where you live your location okay how you do something, where you do something, and when. Wow. Okay, so we're going to get deeper into this message, Sage. Let's go ahead and get some signs for this. What does Sagittarius need to know? Give me signs for Sagittarius. I hope you guys are enjoying the messages that are coming through. Make sure y'all drop me a comment down below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thumbs up this video. Let's see. Give me a sign. Okay, I got two. I have Aries and I have the moon with Pisces and Cancer. Hmm. There is someone here who is showing you a lot of respect. And I feel like this person could be older than you. Okay, there's a message here that's sending out regarding someone's mother, someone's father. Okay, you could be connected to an Aries, Pisces, or Cancer. Like something is um, happening before you before you can even realize it's happening. It's like something could be very shocking to you, Sagittarius. Hmm. Someone following your lead. Okay, give me a sign. I got two again. I got an Aries and a Scorpio. Okay, you got heavy Aries energy here. So something is definitely happening unexpected, possibly with a mother figure, a feminine energy. Okay, father figure. Um, with your emotions, like there is a, a very quick change, a, a quick uh healing. There's a there's a quick realization regarding how you feel about something. And then you have uh the Scorpio energy here. You could be connected to a Scorpio. Um, so with the Scorpio energy here, it just seems like whatever this is, this is very deep to you. This is very um personal to you uh whatever this change is there is definitely a change especially with this uh, scorpio energy here there's a change in you okay there could be a change in someone around you a feminine energy around you hmm someone's feelings are developing very quickly let's see let's get another you have leo Oh, yeah. And I feel like someone is going to, to show this. So you could be connected to a fire sign. Sagittarius, Aries, Leo is showing up very, very strongly. And then you have playing with fire. Hmm. 
Wow. Someone feels like someone was playing with their emotions. Like somebody is playing with their emotions or did play with their feelings. And they, they found out that that wasn't the right thing to do. That wasn't the best choice to make. Because you have respect here. And there's a physical decision. Wow. Let's see. Let's go ahead and get into the tarot, you guys. What does Sagittarius need to know at this time? Ooh, we Okay, okay. All right. We have the Two of Cups. Could, you could be connected to a Libra, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Okay, it could be any sign that you're connected to, but these are the signs that are pulling strongly, and I'm reading this energy, baby. And there is a connection that um you you may want to rethink having having faith in. Like it's a connection that you should have faith in. You have faith in this friendship, this this romance, or this this relationship that you have with this this other person. Okay, this could be family. This could be a lover. Okay, this could be a friend. This could even be a child. Oh wow. Have faith in this connection, Sagittarius. There's a there's a um, situation, there's a relationship that requires you to have faith. Um, there could be someone who is uh, keeping the faith or holding on to having faith for you and them to connect, for you and them to reunite, for you and them to uh, mend something, for you and them to grow something and make something even more beautiful than what it already is. All right, let's get a little bit deeper into this. What happens after the Two of Cups? What does Sagittarius need to know? Okay, you have the four cups, whatever you say. Hmm. I feel like someone has been thinking about some things that you that you said. And I don't feel like they're necessarily ignoring this because um, this connection is definitely on their mind. Okay, this could definitely be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Like this person could just really be trying to feel things out. Um, regarding this connection hmm there could be a pisces cancer scorpio who is in deep thought about a connection and which way to go go next what move to make next what decision to make next hmm someone could be planning something let's see what happens after the four cups you have the tower oh wow and you do have plan with fire here yeah, I feel like someone is taking the time to really feel something out because they don't want to fuck no shit up. They don't want to they don't want to mess this up. They don't want to um make the wrong move, make the wrong decision regarding this connection. Like they don't want to do that. I feel like this person could be really just paying attention to all the details. Okay, so if someone is if someone seems as though says that they're taking a long time to like make a move. Um, I feel like this could be someone being very, very cautious, uh, wanting to handle the situation properly. Um, show some, show some type of respect. All right. Cause they know that this is nothing to be played with. You're nothing to be played with. Let's see. <laughs> wow. What happens after the tower? What happens after the tower for Sag? Mm, damn like i feel like this is somebody um if this is a water sign this person definitely have has water in their chart uh for sure because you have the hangman here this pisces energy all this water coming out with with an explosion um a sagittarius so you have this hangman here and this person can seem like they're just lollygagging around like um as, as if you know they have all the time in the world but i feel like this person is truly truly feeling things out Okay, wow. And someone is preparing to make some type of move, make some type of decision. Like someone is working their way up to, to doing this. But I feel like someone needs to feel confident enough to do this too. So I just feel like someone is building their confidence and taking their time. Okay, what happens after the hangman? This could definitely be you as well, Sag, okay? Ooh, you have the Ace of Wands. Yeah, I feel like someone knows exactly what they are doing, Sagittarius, whether this is you or someone around you. Someone knows exactly how to work shit, okay? They know exactly how to handle business. But I just feel like when these feelings um get involved, Sagittarius, especially with the Two of Cups and the Four of Cups, when the feelings get involved, this person really gets to thinking, okay? And they have to take a step back because someone wants to handle something very, very carefully, okay? You have the Ace of Wands here with respect. Someone definitely wants to show 
you respect, okay? And I feel like you you have this uh, thing about you, Sagittarius, where you just get this respect, okay? I don't know if you're just this very, very honest person. I feel like you're showing up as a very, very honest person here with playing with fire and respect. Like someone has no choice but to respect you and show you this respect because you're showing up as very authentic, uh, Sagittarius. And I feel like you could be focused on making some type of dream come true, Sagittarius, that you have as well. I just see this hangman energy and this ace of wands energy you putting you know action into whatever your dreams are okay like you're nothing to be played with Sagittarius I just feel like you're going after what it is you want and it makes you happy and that's what you care about you care about this thing that makes you happy and that's what you're putting action into wow someone really admires this and respects this about you okay what happens after the ace of wands Oh, and you have strength. Wow. So someone is attracted to you a lot. It has a lot to do with your passion and the things that you're going after, Sagittarius. You definitely could be connected to a Leo. There could be a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, Scorpio, Pisces. There's a deep, deep thought about you, okay? And a connection that they have with you or had with you. Um, I just feel, see someone wanting to be very careful about how they handle you, how they handle this energy, okay? They really want to make sure that they're doing the right thing um that they're making the right decision so i just i just see this as a good thing um even if something is taking longer than expected Sagittarius, for you to receive something or for you to uh, accomplish something or for someone to come forward and you know show something show something else something different hmm something different is standing out here Sagittarius. I don't know if you're going after something different, like you change your mind about something. Let's see. What happens after strength? I just saw the emperor. There's a love situation that you could have changed your mind, mind about. What happens after strength for Sag? Mm, you got the queen of pentacles. There's definitely a physical decision that you're having to make. This could have something to do with your finances as well. Okay, this could have to do with where you live, your finances, your home, a romantic connection, how to move forward, what to do next. Like what physical action needs to be taken next. Wow, there is someone here who is investing in you or you're investing in something that you really, really care about. Let's see. What happens after the Queen of Pentacles for Sag? Mm, you're definitely investing in something. Like, um, you're trying to figure out whether you want to continue to invest in something, whether you want to continue to, um, work somewhere, um, put in some type of work or, or continue to work on the same thing. Let's see what happens after the, the seven of pentacles. Mm, okay. Sagittarius. So you could be in heavy thought. Um, and I see the ten of ones at the bottom of the deck. I have to show you that because I see you working hard and I see something just weighing heavy on you. So I just feel like you need to have faith in something. So um, you have the chariot here, uh, Sagittarius. So you could be thinking about whether or not to move forward in investing in something or continuing, continuing something. Something is standing out here about you continuing something, whether or not you should, whether or not you shouldn't, whether or not how to do it like um something about you moving on and, and making a decision regarding investments and, and regarding how you spend your time how you spend your love Sagittarius what you put your energy into I just see you moving forward I just see you moving forward in something and continuing to to wait and continue to grow something and invest in something that's what I see here uh Sagittarius all right let's get some love messages Sag what does Sagittarius need to know at this time You have heart to heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. Wow. I see someone is feeling a lot. This could be you. This could be this other person. But uh, someone is feeling a whole, whole lot. And there needs to be a conversation had. It's like if you don't talk about it, like how, it, like, I mean, how much mind reading can a person do? Okay, I just I just feel like at some point you have to um be more verbal and expressive, okay, and not be so intuitive and internal. Like you have to let 
let something out. I just feel like someone needs to let something out. Tell the truth about how they feel. Tell the truth about what it is that's, that's on their mind, okay? I feel like talking something out is really going to provide the clarity and understanding that you need, that this other person needs. Okay, um, Sagittarius, you have heart to heart conversations. What's next? Someone could be coming to you and telling you something, and it could be shocking too. Wow, it's like you're not really expecting this. Oh, wow, it says stay optimistic about your love life. Look at that. And we just talked about that optimism, Sagittarius, that you are so very, very blessed with. Okay, in your hearts, in your heart's eye, it says positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. So something about you having faith. Look, you have faith here. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. So like even if you you're not, <laughs> you could be in you could be daydreaming. Some of you are daydreaming about um a connection as well, a connection that you don't already have. Okay, and that you would like. All right. And I feel like the tower moment is you, you sitting there and not really putting in action towards it. Okay. And it says, love yourself first. It says your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Look, and we have respect right here. Wow. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. I feel like someone really like respects how you handle things and how you take care of yourself. Sagittarius, I just hear somebody telling you this, that they love how you take care of yourself. Like they really admire this. And then you have this physical decision. So um, there could be a decision that you're having to make regarding your body, regarding your home, regarding your finances. Okay. Um, why is love yourself first here? You have retreat. I feel like you've accomplished uh, loving yourself first. I feel like you're um you're really allowing yourself to to be loved. I feel like you you know your worth and you know what you deserve. And you have retreat. It says it's time to to disconnect from the world. So like whatever this person is preparing to do for you or treat you with, Sagittarius, you're des you're deserving of that. Or the person in your life, they're deserving of how well you're treating them. Like um, this is very much deserving in a connection. Okay, Sag. Get your soul's journey. What does Sagittarius need to know at this time? What does Sagittarius need to know at this time? You have envy. I am the same as everybody, but with different challenges. There could be someone who is envious of a connection or envious of a friendship or opportunity that you have in a connection. Because I just see you getting a lot of respect and a lot of love in love and in your connections. So someone or a, a couple of people could be jealous of or envious of your connections. Okay, let's see. Why is envy here? Why is envy here? You have death. I feel like this envy is going to come to an end. I feel like someone is waking up to the to the fact that they've been envious about a connection, about a romantic connection in particular here. And I feel like this is coming to an end. It says, I am learning that endings are merely beginnings. So I just feel like someone is learning their lesson. If someone is envious of, of a connection that you have, Sagittarius, and you know this, or you don't know this, Sagittarius, I feel like you could, could sense this. Um, but I just feel like this is coming to an end very quickly because someone is realizing that you're not perfect. They're not perfect. And someone had, had to realize something about themselves. This has, this had nothing to do with you personally. You have death. So there's a transformation happening in a connection that you have. Wow. What happens after death? Why is death here? Tell me more about this ending and new beginning. Ooh, you have change. Wow. It says, I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. Yeah, I feel like something is changing about your connections or a connection that's standing out in particular. And this could this could end this when this heart-to-heart -heart conversation is had. So if this is a friendship, I feel like there's a conversation that's being had that is like ending some type of envy. Like someone is uh, coming to the realization about something. And if this is in love, I feel like because of a heart-to-heart -heart conversation, because there are feelings being put on display without judgment i'm feeling like this is a very mature connection uh what happens after change 
you have success. It says, I know that there is no greater goal than to love. So I just feel like someone is laying it all out on the line, like how they feel all out. Um, so there, this requires you to have faith, Sagittarius. Someone is laying it all out, like putting it all out on the table, how they feel. This could be you. This could be you and someone. This could this could be happening in um, many of your relationships or your connections, even in business. I see some type of investment happening here. So even in business, I just feel like um, your business relationships could be growing as well. You have success. Um, something that you're going after, something that you're putting action into regarding your dreams. Okay. Um, it has a very, a very good outcome here with success, especially with you moving forward in your decision. Okay. Let's go ahead and get some hidden truth, you guys. I want to know more about this connection and the energy that is intertwined with, with your energy, Sagittarius. So let's go ahead and get some um, hidden truth. Because we do have this tower here. There is a lot that we don't know that is happening behind the scenes. Okay. Because someone is taking the time out to consider all of these feelings. And there is a reason why. So let's find out. What does Sagittarius need to know? I wish I had treated you better. So someone is taking the time out to consider all of these feelings. To consider everything that they feel and what is happening around them before they move forward with you in whatever way. It's because maybe in the past they didn't make the best decisions regarding their relationships. Or maybe they didn't make the best decision regarding you. So this person is wanting to move very, very carefully moving forward. Okay, let's see. Someone knows that they are playing with fire when they're dealing with you, Sagittarius. Okay, let's get another. Tell me more about this energy. I wish things could be different. Mm. Wow. Someone is steadily wishing. I wish I had treated you better. I wish things could be differently. Someone can only wish. The past is the past. What's done is done. And what it is is what it is. And someone is having to come to terms with this. And they must react and make decisions based off what has been created. Okay. Let's get another I know I was a distraction from your pain. Oh, wow. So someone feels like you weren't really into something or like you're not in agreement with something. You're not, you weren't truly in, in agreement with something that was supposed, that you and them were supposed to be in, in agreement with. They feel like you just went along with something. Let's see, let's get another what does Sagittarius need to know about this energy? I feel you even though we are apart. So if you and this person are permanently permanently apart, this person constantly wish that, you know, they would have made a different decision regarding you. Okay, this person feels like you weren't really into them. You weren't really... Um, you weren't really interested in, in who they were or, or whatever they had to say. But this person feels like they have a very strong connection with you, even if you and them are apart. If you, and, if you and this person are apart temporarily, Sagittarius, I feel like this person constantly thinks about you when you and them are apart. And they, they're not sure if, if you're interested in moving forward. They're not sure um, where, you, where you truly stand, Sagittarius. So let's go ahead and get your side to this edge. <laughs> What does Sage need to know at this time? Mm. <laughs> you have number three with your family won't like me. And you have the number one. I have so much desire for you. So your home could be very significant in this message, Sagittarius. I feel like there's a situation that is happening with a third party. And this third party doesn't have to be a lover. This third party can also be like co-workers, friends, um, associate. It could be any anybody else or anything else that is not in balance with you and some someone else. Okay. Any anything that's unbalanced where that's causing confusion. I feel like there is something that is not clear regarding you and someone's family, you and someone's friends, you and someone's coworkers. There's something here that is happening that is not very clear that you're not sure of. 
Okay, and, and you have, I have so much desire for you. So whoever this is, Sagittarius, regardless of things not being different, regardless of things not being better, um, there is someone here in your energy that you have a lot of desire for, okay? And it just seems like there is a strong attraction between you and someone. And this attraction can be very, very physical, okay? You have physical decision here. Time to ground yourself. Oh, wow. And I see this queen of pentacles to the seven of pentacles with this physical decision. This could have something to do with you settling down. This could have something to do with you picking a place to stay and build and work on something. Okay. This could have something to do with your emotions as well. Okay. Because you do have the cherry and the cherry is cancer energy. This is about moving forward regardless of any emotions. Okay. This is about uh, continuing the journey, not letting anything stop you, but still knowing who you are, Sagittarius. Let's see. Hmm. So there's someone who definitely could want to settle down with you. Okay. Let's see. Lights. Wow, you've changed so much, Sagittarius. You've changed so much and you have a great outcome for success. You have a light that truly, truly shines like no other, Sag. You have this physical decision and you have the Queen of Pentacles, King of Pentacles energy here. You've invested a lot of time. You've gone through a lot and you pushed through a lot and you deserve this success. And this success has changed you. I feel like you grounding yourself, you becoming more secure within within yourself. Sagittarius has changed you a lot. And it has made you even more attractive. I just feel like someone truly respects this about you. They truly respect this about you. Let's go ahead and clarify this energy. Why is the two of cups here for Sag? Ooh. So someone could be telling you like you should have faith in them, like have faith in them. But this is the seven of swords. Lies, sneakiness, manipulation. This could be something in the past. But I just feel like if this is not a past person, if this isn't a new person, this person is not has not shown that they are a trustworthy person. They they have not shown that you that you should have faith in them. But you have have faith in here. So I just feel like this is not about this other person. This isn't about other people. This is about you having faith in yourself, Sag Sagittarius. This is about you. Why is the why is the four of cups here? Why is the four of cups here? Because you know what I see? I see a person who is going to do what the fuck they want to do anyway. So Sagittarius, what you have to do is you have to love yourself enough to have faith in your own decisions. Okay? Why is the four of cups here? Why is the four of cups here? Ooh, look at that tower. Mm, 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 mm. I just feel like someone someone feels like no matter what they do, like I had this feeling like you could feel like no matter what you do, like shit keeps blowing up, shit keeps happening. But it's not you, Sagittarius, it's not you. Like you have to realize that you can only control yourself. You can only control yourself. Okay, it's going to always be some shit that you don't see coming. You know what I'm saying? So believe in whatever you say. Have trust in you, Sagittarius. And I see the star at the bottom of the deck. I couldn't help but notice like something being healed within you. Like you could have blamed yourself for what someone else did. Okay, let's see. Why is the tower here? Mm, and you have the six of pentacles. Wow, you could have felt like someone didn't give to you like you gave to them. Like someone wasn't as kind to you as you as you were to them, uh, Sagittarius. And I feel like you could have felt like this blew up in your face. Like you you helping somebody or, you know, you lending somebody something or you just being there, being a friend, you know, caring for someone. Um, 
you could have really cared for someone when they were going through something that was major, like some shit blew up in someone else's face and you were there for them. And someone just was very ungrateful. They just, they just showed that they were very ungrateful for your help and for your, your love and your care. Okay. Why is uh, the hangman here? You have the knight of swords. Well, I feel like someone is preparing to like share how they feel about about you and about how they want to give and how they want to proceed in something. Hmm. Someone is tired of like thinking about it and daydreaming about it and they're ready to put in action. So Sagittarius, you could have been tired of thinking about something. Okay, dreaming about something. And you just decided that um, this is not going to happen without my input. This is not going to happen with just me being in my head about it. You know, it can only happen if I go and invest. It can only happen if I go and face my fears. Like you could have faced your fears when it came to something. Okay, why is the Ace of Wands here? You have the Two of Pentacles. So you've got this balance about you, Sagittarius, where you know how to work it. You know how to balance things, okay? You know how to juggle things properly, okay, without dropping one or the other. It's like you have this balance and it's very attractive. It's like you're getting a lot done. It's like your your plans are are involving action now, Sagittarius. You're actually putting in action in your plans and you're getting results. If someone has a lot of desire for you, like you could, <laughs> what I see here, Sagittarius, you could have a lot of desire because I see you very, very attractive, uh, Sagittarius. I see you could have a lot of desire for something. And as you have a lot of desire for something, um, a lot of love, a lot of passion to go after something, Sagittarius, someone it has a lot of um desire for you. And you may not even realize just how much like um this is a turn on for this person. Okay, this person could also want to work with you. This person could be inspired by you and want to work with you as well if this isn't in love. But I just see you really focused on something that you're passionate about. And someone is growing more and more passionate about working with you or, you know, uh, being with you. Okay, romantically. Why is strength here? Oh, you have the six of wands. Wow. It's like you're not really even noticing um, how much love you're getting. Because it's so much, you know what I'm saying, Sagittarius, how much uh, respect you're getting because you're already getting so much because you're already in this moment of receiving love. You're already in this moment of, you know, allowing yourself to get what you deserve and receive what you deserve, get the recognition you deserve. OK, you could be getting some type of recognition at work. OK, because you do such an amazing job at what you do. OK, so you're being rewarded. OK, you got this Queen of Pentacles energy sitting here with a physical decision that you're making. And it looks like you're making the decision to move forward and to uh, continue to invest because something is looking great. Something um, you're, you're getting good results doing this. OK, why is the Queen of Pentacles here? Ooh, okay. All right. You got the Ace of Pentacles. Like, yes, like you're getting really, really good results in whatever you're doing and you're not going to stop. You're not going to quit. You're going to keep going. You're going to keep investing. And it looks like Sagittarius, whatever you're investing in, even if this is in love or in your work, in your career, in your community, whatever you're doing, whatever you're investing, your time, your love, your money into is paying off okay the bigger picture is is paying off like when you zoom out it is the ace of pentacles wow you're going after the ace of pentacles i feel like you're so dedicated to um this passion inside of you sagittarius where it's like it's leading you right into the these opportunities okay why is the uh seven of pentacles here like somebody is waiting for you Sagittarius, I feel like someone is waiting on you. It's like they could be listening to you, just waiting for you, like to reach your hand out and grab their hand. <laughs> okay, why is the Seven of Pentacles here? <laughs> wow, you have the uh, Nine of Swords. So I feel like this could be someone who is in really, really deep thought of you. Like someone cannot stand being away from you for too long, Sagittarius. Hmm. This could be an air sign, earth sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. It's something about the physical. Someone is very impatient. Someone is very impatient. Something is taking too long for someone. Let's see. Why is the chariot here? 
You have success. Why is a chariot here? You could be having nightmares, Sagittarius, okay? You could have started having nightmares out the blue, dealing with money, okay? Let's see, dealing with some type of body of water, okay? Why is a chariot here? Mm, you have the Knight of Wands. Yeah, Sagittarius, you are extremely, extremely attractive. And I feel like regardless of your fears, like you're conquering something, regardless of your fears, regardless of the nightmares, regardless of any stress, I just feel like this could be like some type of daily stress. This could be a sign for you, Sagittarius, that you need to relax, that you need to really just unwind and in, enjoy some type of quiet, like just relax. I just feel like maybe you need, need a massage or something. I just feel like you have so much good going on around you so many opportunities and some type of change is, could be uncomfortable for you but ultimately Sagittarius this change is very very beneficial to you all right Sagittarius thank you so so much for joining I hope you guys enjoyed the messages that came through this is the Sagittarian goddess and I'll see y'all in the next reading